Electronics manufacturing and global supply chains have become so complex that they can no longer support rising demand, creating the need for new forms of technology, visibility, and asset monitoring. Supply Chain Transformed, a new series from DigiKey Electronics, explores the latest in digital transformation across the supply chain. Powered by analog devices, Molex, and SupplyFrame. In this episode, we look at how distributors like DigiKey Electronics work with leading global suppliers to monitor, organize, and ship priority components to manufacturers each and every day. Honestly, the, the name of the game in the new facility is, is inventory accuracy. The whole system is really driven and based off of that inventory accuracy. Anytime something's kind of red flagged or marked, marked aside, like we, ne we need to take the time and have the, have the teams dedicated to doing that check and making that follow-up and also those regular accounts throughout the period of time to make sure that something hasn't gone awry, something hasn't been misplaced. A lot of the parts we're using for automation are coming off the shelf and being used to, to, to build the things that we're trying to do to help automate our own future. With DigiKey's cutting-edge inventory and warehouse management, how did these products get here? To answer that question, we follow the supply chain back to its source, touring Molex's facility to learn more about how this supplier is pushing innovation forward with their next-generation connectors. We met up with Jay Bozerman, manager of operations at Molex, as he walked us through their printed circuit facility. Uh, Molex excels at printing very small electronics uh, with, with a number of devices on here rather than using a traditional circuit board. Uh, we, we can take these components and make a functional device, attach a, a thin film battery to the back, and have a tag that is half the size of a credit card that can perform all the tracking functions that you're going to need throughout a factory. Automation in the factory space, machine vision, robotics, how do these new innovations facilitate digital transformation? Peter Stoffel explains how Molex is taking these processes to the next level. Even in uh, our facilities across the world, like we're it's seeing it's really important to have high quality and that's what something that Molex is known for. So we're using automation to ensure that we have the highest possible product quality. Um, we're using different types of tracking, so things like lasers, um, radar, like LiDAR, um, and optics. A lot of it is on the product quality and, and tracking side from when you're making something to when you're shipping it. Um, that's really important to our customers. We try to keep this room busy. There's a lot of automation in here and we try to keep it running and productive at all times. Uh, it's a particularly challenging time to do that uh, with a worldwide shortage of electronic components right now. So we are uh, constantly looking for new avenues and, and shipping things in throughout the world uh, to try to bring parts in as we can. We have a, a robotic soldering station that does point-to-point -point soldering of through-hole components. The advantage of this system is it runs about the same speed as a, an operator would, but it, it allows the operator to do other operations at the same time. So right now Griselda is working on testing while also the robot is soldering parts behind her. We think that the future is definitely in machine vision, um, and that's uh, a lot of the sensors oriented towards giving the robot vision. And people are doing a few different approaches, but they're using light, um, which is also known as LiDAR sensors. They're using optics, which are uh, camera types of sensors. And then they're using radar, which is using sound. And those are really the three main types of sensors. Um, and folks in different companies are using these sensors to give their robots machine vision. And this is just opening up, I think, um, a brand new opportunity for the industry. Um, we're seeing tons of startups and tons of different suppliers um, and new customer needs. And it's uh, really exciting because it, it plays into the idea of making it easier for the workforce um, in order to um, do their day-to-day -day tasks. So we've noticed that transition uh, into a more like innovative and embrace all the technology, um, especially with the pr pandemic. Uh, I think we've noticed that from internal Molex and our willingness to embrace and adopt new automation technologies. We've seen that from the startup partnerships that we have. Um, they've had a lot of customer engagement um, through the pandemic, which has been pretty exciting, especially on the sensor interconnect side, just because we have the low profile, high speed, high rug rugged uh, products. I, I've been doing this for a long time. I, I have never seen uh, such a 
a broad range of shortages that we're facing now. I, I've certainly seen it on one or two components here and there, but never such a, a broad issue that uh, faces not just us, but almost every manufacturer out there. We've also seen different smart tags and things being able to track um, the environment, um, temperature, um, fluctuations in order to um, assess if like the product quality has changed as it's being transported um, to the end consumer. And an easy one to think about is something like temperature. Uh, it's important in things like medical devices or medical uh, supplies that are, are shipping out to customers. DigiKey has been a partner for, with Molex, I think, since really the beginning. Um, and it's exciting because DigiKey is always working with new engineers, uh, new customers that are trying to design products that are going to change the world. We both want to help bring new devices and tech to the market, and we're really passionate about that. So it's been an awesome partnership um, from pretty much like the beginning. It's that migration of inventory, that making sure your inventory is accurate as you're bringing it to a new facility, which is much more automated, and that that accuracy matters so much in being able to facilitate orders, facilitate workflow, facilitate who and how does different phases of the, of the process. Beyond that, again, it's, it's how do we find better ways to streamline and better ways to be more accurate from start to finish and from you know, as, as we're improving processes. Suppliers like Molex sit at the foundation of the supply chain. The introduction of new technologies that provide visibility and enhanced monitoring are leading the way forward to reduce bottlenecks and increase efficiency for products across every industry. On our next episode, we hear from product experts at Analog Devices and find out how their latest offerings combine with other technologies to map and track the product's journey as it travels towards the next destination, providing a glimpse into the supply chain transformed.